Hi, my name is Mark Bugayama. Welcome to Barberton. My name is Nico Westhuizen. Mark and myself have been working on the Barberton Makonjo World Heritage Site since 2005. It's inscribed in 2018 as a World Heritage Site, one of South Africa's newest World Heritage Sites. Here you can see the oldest known life forms visible to the naked eye. You can actually see them in the rock. The place where scientists come to understand the evolution of life on Earth and how life evolved. If this is where you find the first life forms on these rocks, this is your home, Africa. So what you may expect to see in Barberton on the Dew Trail is a time slice of 450 million years of Earth's evolution in the Archaean era, starting from 3.6, 3.8 billion years ago. And here it's preserved in the rocks. It's unchanged the rocks still lie in sequence as they were deposited and that's what's so unique about Barberton. Uh, yeah it's, it's our pride you know and uh, it's our joy and it's it, it keeps us going every day you know. We didn't understand in the beginning that doing a world heritage site takes so much time. We didn't understand the length of the process, we didn't understand everything involved in fact, if we knew, it may not have started. Uh, but this place is so important. It is quite humbling also. And, and uh, we can only appreciate the general society, our government, both in, both in all spheres, in fact, national, local, district, our traditional authorities. I think the key thing about this entire project was that it was a partnership project, a partnership between communities, government, private sector, everybody working together. This was a true team effort. Look, the beauty of this whole thing, I think there should be some lessons that should be shared. An appreciation on, 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 on the mostly neglected area, uh, which is your traditional authorities. And that also, they have a role that they've played, which is very crucial. And, and, and lucky for us, being honest, transparent, and trustworthy, it has made all other parties to, to feel comfortable to sit around the same table and work towards one goal. Though that goal was not understandable to all of us, we may have sounded the smartest by the time we started, but of course the fact was we were there. <laughs> we weren't. We were not, you know. And, and nevertheless, that has helped towards making it easy. So the problem with it, with it was that it was a rock, it was small, it was microscopic, and it was academic. So to have people understand that academic subject, and I think that's where the Geo Trail came in that we developed. The purpose of the Geo Trail was specifically to, to have local people actually understand what they have in their backyard and to have a product that we could actually say, listen, this is what's unique. There is something unique here and the Geo Trail unpacks that and makes it accessible to the public. The product of it also, it extends to starting to see local children coming up, following in their footsteps the international colleagues that I'm talking about. Uh, on this one I'll mention a name, Pumelele Mashele. She's amongst those that benefited here. She's doing now her, her masters. I think her honors, she was traversing this mountain, which, which is quite exciting, you know. This is more than just pride. This is not more than just an important world heritage site. Whoever says I'm from Barberton, you know, they say, oh, you, you, you mean you're coming from those mountains that are now on, on, on United Nations. And, and for me, it's something that we've never had before. And it's, it says to me, enjoy it. Bask in the sign, black child, black person, you know. You are part of the world now, you know. Uh, and. Uh, and for me, it keeps me excited every time. I always even tell my son, my wife at home, I say, I so wish people could appreciate what is out there, those mountains. And 
and begin to, when they talk to their children, encourage them to, to be educated, specialize in those fields. We've got the nature reserves here. And yeah, those are combined things that, that one continuously have in his mind and they just trigger more, more joy and excitement.